Since the beginning of the year 2020, most of us have been spending more time indoors. Why? This is because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has formed a new normal in our daily activities. It is a game changer as today kids are taking courses and classes online as most of the schools and education centers around the world remain shut down. Likewise, adults are encouraged to work from home while governments are trying to break the chain of transmission. Hello everyone, this is Pei here, a member of the No Bacteria and Drug Discovery Research Group under the Microbiome and Bioresource Research Strength from Monash University, Malaysia. Right now, we are entering the second half of the year and here at MBDD, we have some exciting news to share. Since the introduction of MBDD video that was published in September last year, our research group has grown larger with two members joining us, Dr. Priya Pusparaja and Associate Prof. Dr. Jimmy Lee. With the addition of the new members, we will be sharing more interesting events and projects that we have been working on in this video. Microbes exist almost everywhere on Earth and are heavily researched as some of them can potentially bring huge benefits to humans while a portion of them can cause deadly infections. At NBDD, we focus on studying the relationship between microbes and human health. Our research work revolves around biosystematics of bacteria, which means categorizing bacteria into groups based on their traits and also discovering all bioactive metabolites from them. One of the main research group area has been the active study of foodborne pathogens. In the past, our team has isolated hundreds of bacterial strains known as reveal parahemolyticals from seafood and we investigated their antimicrobial resistance. It is crucial to monitor the antibody resistance pattern of microbes in order to identify the most effective antibodies to be used in case of unfortunate events where you get infected by some of these nasty pathogens. Secondly, the group is also looking into a group of bacteria known as the actinobacteria, which produce various types of substances that are beneficial to mankind including antibiotics, antifungals, and anti-cancer drugs. We have successfully characterized over 10 new species of actinobacteria from the mangrove forest in Malaysia, which we will be sharing more in the upcoming videos. Just two months ago, with the support from the school, we have organized a workshop with medical students to spread basic knowledge about the bug behind this pandemic, namely SARS-CoV-2 via video conferencing. Experts have confirmed that SARS-CoV-2 is different from the other coronavirus we have seen so far. As of 2nd August 2020, SARS-CoV-2 has infected over 17 million people worldwide and claimed more than 670,000 lives. Using interactive tools like Flux and Kahoot, we have discussed pathophysiological changes in COVID-19 patients and have also gone through some basics behind molecular diagnostic tools used in identifying and monitoring SARS-CoV-2 infection. Healthcare professionals are now seeking for effective treatments plan to treat COVID-19 patients. As a matter of fact, many volunteers have enrolled into clinical trials to test for new drugs and vaccines against this bug. As scientists, we are now working hand in hand with those at the forefront to study the virus thoroughly, from deciphering their genetic codes to understanding their transmission with the hope to win this arduous battle. Till then, no matter where you are, what you are doing, always remember to practice good hygiene and maintain social distancing. Follow the instruction given by your local health authorities and surely we'll be able to get through this situation together. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button on our channel. See you soon.